to Texas Eats. Now we're here in the Museum District in Houston to go inside of an iconic restaurant that's serving up all kinds of delicious brunch items. Let's go inside Lucille's. Joining me now is the chef and owner out here at the restaurant, Chris Williams. Thank you so much for having us, man. Thanks for coming. And right in front of us, we have hits off the menu. This is from the brunch selection. I mean, you got a little bit of everything out here. And how did all of this get started? You know, I've been cooking for 25 years, everywhere from London to Lithuania, Canada, all up and down the East Coast. And then I finally came home, found this space, which was built in 1923. So we decided to name it after my great grandmother and everything started from there. Tell me a little bit about her and why you decided to name the restaurant after her. Uh, Lucille was a chef. She was a visionary. She was a barrier breaker. She set up one of the first commercial culinary educational programs in the country through Prayer View. She used to serve everybody from Joe Lewis to Martin Luther King, Eleanor Roosevelt, the list goes on and on. Well, I'll tell you what, you couldn't have named it after a better person. I mean, just, she sounds incredible. And the recipes that we have here in front of us, a chicken fried steak. Tell me about this dish. So this right here is just a chicken fried 44 farm steak over our take on home fries. Grilled asparagus and a truffle gravy topped off with uh, sunny side up bite. My goodness. All right, get your fork and knife for me. We're gonna go in and we gotta get the little, we gotta pop the egg because that's what it's all about. Check that out. All right, here we go. Cheers. There we go. The chicken fried steak, that's the bite. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. The chicken fried steak is over the top delicious. It is so good. That gravy that's on there as well. It's so much flavor. You have all that seasoning that's inside of the dredge. So when it's deep fried, the meat just absorbs all of that as well. Then you have the potatoes on the side, the asparagus on there. You take a bite of all of that together, especially with the egg on top. It is next level delicious. I'm gonna dive into this one here in the middle of the table. You got a Benedict, but it's not your typical Benedict, right? Yeah, this is one of my favorite things on the menu. So this is our country Benedict. It's essentially, it's a chicken fried poached egg. When you crack into it, you're gonna see it, it has a texture of fried chicken on the outside. It still has a runny yolk on the inside. It's served over top of applewood bacon, collard greens, with a English muffin, obviously, on the bottom, uh, with a little bit of truffled hollandaise on top and Korean pepper. That is so beautiful. Cheers, that's the bite. Oh my goodness. Mm. This Benedict is one of the most unique bites I've had in a long time for a brunch item. The way they're deep frying the outside of that egg, getting that crispy exterior, just like a piece of fried chicken. On the inside, the egg is still running like a poached egg. It is so fun. You have the bacon on there, then on the bottom, that little English muffin. You put that all together with the greens on there, it makes for a really nice, well-rounded brunch bite. <laughs> So with the omelet, it's oxtails the way that we'd serve them typically on the menu, braised for seven hours uh, using a pinsage, so it has a bunch of deep flavors up in there. We then harvest all the meat off the bone, make the egg base, put the meat in the middle with a little bit of jasper cloth cheddar, roll it up and then serve it with the braising jus and a little mixed uh, salad to cut through the richness of it. You go, cheers to you, the oxtail omelet, that's the bite. Oh my goodness, give us some love. I'm gonna have this one. Woo! My favorite bite has to be the omelet. All of that tender oxtail meat on the inside, all that au jus on the outside as well. So it's just like this savory pot of stew inside of an omelet. It is so good. And then on top you have those fresh greens and it just balances out the bite really well with those pickled onions. Definitely a must try item. Had my great-grandmother done all the things that Lucille had done, I would have named the restaurant after her as well. She sounds like such an incredible person and so iconic, especially all the culinary innovations and the way she progressed for women's rights and what she's done all throughout American history. It is just incredible. This is an exceptional bite. It is a very well-rounded meal. And you know what? I like that it's just enough to where you can start with some of these really famous biscuits right. and you still have room. Yeah. Plus, you also have drinks. You have a full bar over here, so yeah. when you come out for brunch, grab a mimosa, grab one of their cocktails they have on the menu. It's phenomenal. They have the tamales, they have it all out here. Thank you so much for having us, man. Thanks for coming, man. Lucille's in Houston. You definitely have to stop here when you're looking for an iconic restaurant in the area. I mean, this is a must go. This is it, bro. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs>